I'm listening to every beat by Kanye since 1996 to find which are the best and if we can find any overlooked gems. Part 3, 1998, I feel like this is that year. You know the damn meme? This year seems quiet in terms of production credits again, but Ye is working. They say the flowers of the future are in the seeds of today, and long before Ye would get his flowers, he would prepare for the flood. Ye probably did heaps of beats this year, but not many got released. There is one dope track worth listening to produced by Kanye from this year called Turn It Out that I'll talk about later, but worth noting before we go on, for simplicity's sake, when grouping tracks, I'll go by the year they were released, though if the recording date is known or of importance, I'll make note. Now, 1998, Kanye lands his first major label placement for a fat check of $5,000 on Jermaine Dupri's album Life in 1472. I like Jermaine, he's got a cool voice, definitely a hip-hop figure worth noting from a business perspective, but the best part of this track, Nas. One of the first instances of Nas over Kanye production and Nas comes through, like the third verse on this is stupid. One of the great storytellers in hip hop. As for the beat, definitely a step up once again in production quality, but still it's not anything really special for Kanye. What is more noteworthy about this beat is the intro of the track samples the hospital prelude of love theme from the 1974 film Foxy Brown and almost reminds me of the skit in the middle of Slow Jams of College Dropout right before Twister's verse. The vocal sample choice also is obviously something that would carry on and become his trademark, but I wonder if this style will be regular from here until College Dropout or if this is a one-off for now. Looking back and compared to 96 and 97, we can say within reason that the sample on the intro of this track foreshadows some of the techniques he'd employ later on. From here on out, Kanye has much more production credits and the next few years leading up to his big break working with Jay-Z have some real gems worth uncovering. Check out any previous years if you've missed them, subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss future parts in this series. Also, check out my ranking series on Kanye, Brock Hampton or Tyler as well as my series covering a whole range of artists.